Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. You may have heard the term, when prices go up, they're out of this world. Well, in this case, uh, platinum's prices are low and is coming into this world. That's right. This is an article from sent to me from Coins A to Z, from Quartz Africa. And it's something that uh, is quite fascinating indeed. Scientists now have the evidence of a large platinum dense meteorite hit the Earth 12,800 years ago. So let's explore. Yes, indeed. Look at that thing. What a chunk. This lunar meteorite known as NWA 1179, unofficially known as Buagaba, or the moon puzzle from Maritania. So platinum to the moon, or platinum from the moon in this case. Just less than 13,000 years ago, the climate cooled for a short while in many parts of the world, especially in the northern hemisphere. We know this because of what has been found in ice cores drilled in Greenland, as well as from oceans around the world. Grains of pollen from various plants can also tell us about this cooler period, which people who study climate prehistory call the Younger Dryas, and which interrupted a warming trend after the last ice age. The term gets its name from a wildflower, Dryas octopetala. It can tolerate cold conditions and was common in, in parts of Europe 12,800 years ago. At about this time, a number of animals became extinct. These included mammoths in Europe, large bison in North America, and giant sloths in South America. The cause of this cooling event has been debated a great deal. One possibility, for instance, is that it relates to changes in oceanic circulation systems. In 2007, Richard Firestone and other American scientists presented a new hypothesis that the cause was a cosmic impact like an asteroid or comet. The impact could have injected a lot of dust into the air, which might have reduced the amount of sunlight getting through the Earth's atmosphere. This might have affected plant growth and animals in the food chain. Researchers have just published, uh, which sheds new light on this younger, uh, this younger Dryas impact hypothesis. They're going to focus on what platinum can tell us about it. So how does platinum fit into this picture? Well, it's known to be concentrated in meteorites. So when a lot of it is found in one place at a time, it could be a sign of a cosmic impact. Platinum spikes have been discovered in an ice core in Greenland, as well as in areas as far apart as Europe, Western Asia, North America, and even Patagonia in South America. These spikes date to about the same time period. Here we go. There you see it. And about 12,800 years ago, a platinum spike. Now, that's not a talk about price. Most of us would like to see a spike in platinum price, but this is talking about a platinum insurgence into the earth about 12,800 years ago. Until now, there's been no such evidence from Africa. But working with two colleagues, Professor Lewis Scott, University of the Free State, and Philip uh, Bieters, University of Johannesburg, believe there is evidence from South Africa's Limpopo province that partly supports a controversial Younger Dryas impact hypothesis. The new information has been obtained from Wonder Crater, an archaeological site with peat deposits at a spring situated outside a small town in the north of Pretoria. In a sample of peat, we have identified a platinum spike that could at least potentially be related to dust associated with a meteorite impact somewhere on Earth 12,800 years ago. The platinum spike at Wonder Crater is in marked contrast to almost constantly low near zero concentrations of this element in adjacent levels. Subsequent to that platinum spike, pollen grains indicate a drop in temperature. These discoveries are entirely consistent with the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis. Very interesting indeed. Wonder Crater is the first site in Africa where a Younger Dryas platinum spike has been detected, supplementing evidence from southern Chile, in addition to platinum spikes at 28 sites in the northern hemisphere. We are now asking a question which needs to be taken seriously. Surely platinum-rich uh, dust associated with the impact of a very large meteorite may have contributed to some extent 
to major climate change and extinctions. Yes, indeed. And of course, all of this before any, quote, fossil fuels were emitted into the atmosphere and the like. And this is all natural um, events that have occurred. Very recently, a meteorite crater in, in uh, Greenland was discovered with 31 kilometers in the northern part of Greenland beneath the ice of the Hiawatha Glacier. It is not certain that it dates to the time of the Younger Dryas, but the crater rim is fresh and ice older than 12,000 years, 12,800 years is missing. It seems possible, but it is not yet certain that this particular crater relates to the hypothesized meteorite that struck the Earth at the time of the Younger Dryas with global consequences. The effects of a meteorite impact may potentially have contributed to extinctions in many regions of the world. There's no doubt that platinum spikes in North America coincide closely with the extinction of animals on a big scale about 12,800 years ago. And extinctions in Africa, in South Africa context, uh, the team is suggesting that the platinum-rich cosmic dust and its associated environmental effects may have contributed to the extinction of large animals that ate grass. These have been documented in places such as the Bumplas near the uh, Kango Caves in South Africa's Southern Cape, uh, where important excavations have been undertaken. At least three species that, uh, that went extinct in the South African subcontinent. These include a giant buffalo, a large zebra, and a large wildebeest. Each weighed about 500 kilograms before its modern counterpart. There have been more uh, than one cause of these extinctions. Hunting by humans could have been a factor. The large buffalo, zebra, and wildebeest have already been affected by habitat changes at the end of the ice, last ice age, which was at its coldest about 18,000 years ago. So human population and cosmic impact could have indirectly affected people as a result of local changes in the environment and the availability of food resources associated with sudden climate change. Stone tools relate to the cultural identity of people who lived in the past. Around 12,800 years ago, in at least some parts of South Africa, there is evidence of an apparent abrupt termination of the Roberg technology represented by stone tools found for examples in the Boomplas Cave. Coincidentally, North American archaeological sites indicate sudden end of a stone tool technology called Clovis. But it's too early yet, early yet to say whether those cultural changes relate to a common causal factor. And here we see... Uh, Wonder Taker there and Palaco there off of Patagonia. And here is what platinum sounds like. There we go. That's it. Imagine hearing that sound whiz through the atmosphere coming down. Of course, it was mixed with other elements, but I digress. The younger Dryas impact hypothesis and the evidence to support it is a reminder of how much can change when a rocky object hits the Earth. Many asteroids are situated between Mars and Jupiter. And on, and on occasion, some come very close to our planet. The probability of a large one striking Earth may seem to be low, but it's not impossible. Take Apophis 99942. It's classified as a potentially hazardous asteroid. It is 340 meters wide and will come exceptionally close to the Earth in relation to an astronomical unit, the distance between us and the Sun, on Friday, April 13th, 2029. The probability of its hitting us in 10 years' time is only 1 in 100,000, but the probability of an impact may be even higher at some time in the remote future. So if this does happen and it's full of platinum, well, that might uh, saturate the platinum market and uh, platinum prices may crash, but probably everything else will too. What's more, comets associated with the two-rod complex approach the Earth relatively close at intervals of centuries, so a large asteroid or comet could fall to Earth in the foreseeable future. The Younger Dryas impact hypothesis is highly controversial, but the evidence suggests that it is not improbable that a large meteorite struck the Earth as recently as 12,800 years ago with widespread consequences and, and wider spread amounts of platinum that is now seen in, uh, in coins that you hold in your hand. And those coins could possibly uh, be originated from space at one time or another and there you have it thanks again coins a to z for sending this article along to me here 
from QZ.com, Quartz Africa. Very cool indeed. Look at that thing. Crazy. Yes, indeed. Looks like an ant, and there's his pinchers, and there's no eyes on the ant. Pretty wild. Like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching, and encourage you to please rate, share, and watch, and comment, and watch, and subscribe, and watch, and watch again.